because of his full contribution to spiritual activities, in which the consummation is absolute, and that which, which is offered is of the same spiritual nature. Brahmatvanam Brahma Havi Brahmagno Brahmana Hutam Brahmai Vatina Ganta Bhyam Brahma Karna Samadhina. This is Krishna consciousness. Sarbam Kulidam Brahma. Actually, there is nothing as material. Because the energy and the energetic, uh, there is a verse in uh, Vishnu Puran. Ekusthani sthita shagne jusna vistarina jatha. Tathaiva Brahmana Shakti Sarvedam Akhilam Jagat. <coughs> what is this Jagat manifestation? Uh, the manifestation is uh, energy, energy of Krishna, energy of the Supreme Brahma. The uh, whole atmosphere is just like the sunshine. The, we can exactly understand what is the position of this material world, what is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, what is the spiritual world. By nature study you can understand. Uh, <coughs> uh, as it is explained in the Vishnu uh, Puran, ekosthāne sthitasya agne, just like fire, is situated in one place. ekosthāne sthitasya agne, Jusna bistari nāyat. But it is illuminating. Everyone, we can understand. The same thing, just like the sun glow is situated in one corner of the sky. But the uh, sun sign is illuminating. Ekasthāna sthita sādhana. The agni or the fire is situated in one place, but the illumination is distributing. So, the, just like the sun sign is spread all over the universe, but it is we can see every day the sun globe is situated in one place. Not that the sun globe is distributed, spread all over the universe, the sun sign. Similarly, there is fire. The illumination is distributing. The heat also. Two energies of the fire. So because the energy of the fire is distributed all over the universe, it does not mean the fire is finished. No. Fire is there. Purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avasishyate. That is Krishna. Krishna is expanding himself, just like the heat and light. But that does not mean Krishna is finished. Oh. It is not material. Purnasya purnamadaya purnameva abhishishat. Krishna is 
spread in so many ways by his energy, by his personal expansion, Addaita Achyuta Anadi Ananta Rupam Adyam Purana Purusam Navajovanaj. He is not finished. This is material idea that if Brahma is spread everywhere, then where is the existence of Brahma in one place? This is the Mahavadi idea. Just like you take a big paper, a newspaper, and tear it into pieces and throw all over, the original newspaper is finished. That Krishna is not like that. that. Because Krishna has spread by his energies, uh, prakriti, energy means prakriti, that does not mean Krishna is finished. This is Mahavad philosophy that when Brahma, the Supreme, is distributed everywhere, the original form or the fact is finished. No, that is not written. Uh, that is Ishopanishad, this says that he is so perfect and complete, even complete is taken away from complete, it is still complete. That is Brahma. Uh, we have got this limited idea. I have got balance, say one thousand dollars in the bank, and if it is taken little by little, the whole balance is finished. It is not like that. Purnasa Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasus. You have got one thousand dollars. You take one thousand dollars, is still one thousand dollars. This is spiritual. One plus one equal to one. One minus one equal to one. Hmm. That is described here. That Brahmatvanam Brahmahabhi Brahmagno Brahmanahatam. Actually, the sacrificer, the ingredients, just like grains and ghee, is being offered in the fire. So the fire is also Brahma, the ingredients are also Brahma, the, the person who is offering ingredients, he is also Brahma, but in different categories. Uh, not that because everything is Brahma, therefore everything is God. No. Uh, Everything is, this is called Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy, achinta bhidave tattva. The example can be given just like a, a drop of sea water and the sea. Chemical composition is the same, uh, but the drop of sea water is not equal to the sea. This is Vaishnava uh, philosophy. <coughs> the Mahabharata philosophy is the drop, when it is taken, then it is separate, and again you put it there, then it is one. So the Vaishnava philosophy accept it is one and separate, both. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's philosophy. Achinta Bhidave. Simultaneously one and different. And it is explained in the Bhagavad Gita that Maya Tatamidam Sarbam Jagat of Bhakta Murtina. I am spread all over the universe. Jagat of Bhakta Murtina. Non manifested. Murti. He has got his murti. Ah. He says, Maya, by me. Me means person. Maya. So how he spread? Just like we are person. I am here. 
But I am not in my apartment. You are here. You are not in your house. That is the difference between Krishna and me. Oh, Krishna is also a person. I am also a person. But Krishna can remain anywhere and everywhere, and still he remains his personality. That is Krishna. Okilātmo ah. bhūta. That is stated in Brahma Sangita. Guloka nāmni nija dhāmi tale catasya devi mahesa hari dhāma sutesu tete prabhāva nichaya vihitāsta jena govinda mādi purusam tamā. In the Bhagavad Gita also it is said, Ishara sarvabhūtānāma riddhe se arjuna tishtati. Uh, Ishara, the Supreme Lord, is situated in everyone's heart. Your heart, my heart, it is particularly mentioned in the heart. Uh, we are searching out where is the soul, where is the super soul, but it is in the heart. Uh, and we see also, so long the heart is going on beating, the living condition is there. As soon as the heart stops, everything finished. And the Shastra says also, Ishara Sarvabhutana, Iridde say Arjuna Tishthati. Now, you find out where is the super soul and the soul. But because you cannot find out, it does not mean that there is no soul, no super soul. That doesn't. Uh, that is your imperfectness of knowledge or process of knowledge. Uh, and how you can find out? The magnitude of the soul is stated in the śāstra, one ten thousand part of the tip of the hair. We, we cannot measure even the tip of the hair. And why? how we can measure? And because we cannot find out, we say there is no soul. No, there is soul. Uh, Therefore we have to see through this śāstra, not by our blunt eyes and senses. That is useless. Adhakik, those who are bringing spiritual master as spiritual matter to be, to be subjected to the experimental knowledge, it is not possible. Experimental knowledge is defective. Uh, therefore, we have to understand spiritual subject matter. Shastra Jonityat, the Vedanta Sutra says. We have to learn from the Shastra. So here, Krishna says that everything can be converted into Brahma. It is a fact, sarvam kholidam brahma. Now how to realize? That is Krishna consciousness. That is described in the Bhagavad Gita very nicely. Just like Krishna says, everything is Krishna. Now how to realize? The Krishna says, those who are not very advanced, they have been advised to understand Krishna. How? Rasoham of Sukhantiya. My dear Arjuna, I am the taste of the water. Begin like that. Rasoham of Sukhantiya. Of su, in liquid. Any liquid thing, you have some taste. Otherwise, how you drink the liquid things? You have got some, everything has got taste. The whole world is full of taste. Unless there is taste, nobody can be inclined to enjoy something. Anything you take. Therefore, sex life is called adi ros, the original taste. Ah. So, in the water, while we drink water or milk or even wine, any liquid thing, if you simply try to practice this, 
that this taste where I, what I am enjoying, that is Krishna. That begin, begins Krishna consciousness. It is not very difficult. Everyone can do that. If you cannot chant, if you cannot hear about Krishna, if you cannot understand about Krishna, because the de- devotional method is sabanam kīrtanaṁ viṣṇu smaranaṁ pāda sevanaṁ. So to hear about Krishna, it does not appeal to everyone. Krishna is fighting in the battlefield of Kurukshetra and Krishna is playing on the courtyard of Jasadamai. There are so many descriptions in the Simad Bhagavatam. Uh, the ordinary less intelligent man, they cannot understand that the Parabrahma, Supreme Brahma, can crawl in the courtyard of Mother Jasoda. It is very difficult for them to understand. Uh, <coughs> Therefore, the tenth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, there is description of Krishna's activities. Because unless one understands what is Krishna, he is not interested in the activities of Krishna. But those who are devotees, Ah, they know that Krishna's and Krishna's activities are one and the same, absolute. Ah, so if we cannot understand Krishna, Krishna is so kind that He descends and plays in so many ways. If we simply hear about Krishna, that, that means we associate with Krishna. Uh, chanting of Krishna, Hare Krishna, Madhi is Krishna. Nama Chintamani Krishna, Chaitanya Rasabhigra. These are the statement of the Shastra. Krishna's name, Chintamani, spiritual. It is not material. You cannot go on chanting on any material name, Mr. John, Mr. John, Mr. John, you will be tired. But you go on chanting Hare Krishna, twenty-four hours you'll never be tired. That is the difference. They do not understand. And the more you chant, you release. Otherwise, these European and American boys and girls, four or five years ago, they did not know what is Krishna or what is Krishna's name. Now, they are chanting all over the world. This is a fact. One uh, priest, Christian priest, he was astonished in Boston. He issued one pamphlet. He said that these boys, they are our boys. Some of them are coming from Christian family or Jewish family. But uh, before this, before they are taking to Krishna consciousness, they did not care for anything, Bible or church, or dinner. never. Now how is that? These boys are mad after God. Ah. So therefore it is a fact that Krishna and Krishna's name, there is no difference. Here in the material world, if you want, if you are thirsty, if you want water, if you simply chant water, 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 that will not satisfy you. You require water, the fact. But spiritually, when you chant Krishna, you release Krishna. Nama Chintamani Krishna. That is because Krishna and Krishna's name is not different. So as we advance in realization, then we can understand that everything is Krishna. Uh, that is described here. Brahmatvanam Brahmahavi Brahmagno Brahmanahutam. Because everything is Krishna's energy. Uh, the same example, just like the fire has got two energies, heat and light. So whenever there is heat, there must be fire. And whenever there is light, there must be fire. You cannot say that heat is here, 
Light is here, but fire is not here. Then that you cannot see. As soon as even smoke is there, the fire is there. Ah. Even the smoke, this māyā, external energy, is considered as the smoke of the fire. Ah. But it is in the smoke also you can perceive fire. And in the light also you can perceive fire. In heat also you can perceive fire. There, there are three things, smoke, uh, light, and heat from fire. So one who is realized soul, he sees everywhere the connection of fire. Nirvani Krishna Sambandhi, Jukta Bhai Raga He can see. This is advancement. Ah. Just like we are offering Krishna something prepared, ah. the how it becomes prasadam. Others will see, will see that the same dal bhat luchi or halwa. We are also preparing how these people are calling it prasadam and why they take with so respect. Ah. Ah. The prasadam. That is also Krishna. That is all. This is the process to understand, as I have already said. Rasuham Mapsukamti. For the neophytes, by taking prasadam, by thinking the taste of water, Krishna will gradually develop his Krishna consciousness. That is dormant. It is not artificial. Simply by certain process it has to be awakened. Uh, it is not something uh, foreign. In the Chaitanya Chaitamrita it is said, Nitta Siddha Krishna Bhakti Sadha Kabhu Nay Sabanadi Suddha Chitte Karayuda. Sadha means practice. It is not. We practice so many things by association, but we forget. But once you manjana chudita bhakti vilochane na santa sadaiva iridayesu vilokayanti. Santa sadaiva. So we have to become santa, saintly person, by devotional service. This is the process. The beginning is hearing. The center is made for giving chance to people to hear about Krishna. That is the beginning. Uh, there is no loss, but if there is any gain, why not take it? Uh, anyone who is coming here, it is not necessary that one has to pay some fees or there is some loss. Uh, there is no loss. Everything is gain. Simply by hearing. And Krishna is speaking about Himself. Uh, so we should take advantage of this Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, that will be beneficial for us. Uh, <coughs> so, Krishna and Krishna's name, or anything in this world, Sadvam Kulidam Brahm, that is Krishna, because it is energy of Krishna. And you cannot separate the energy from the energetic. I have already explained that you cannot separate fire or heat or smoke from the fire. Because the three things are emanating from the fire. Therefore in the Vedanta Sutta it is said, Janma Sajataha. The first quote is, Athato Brahma Jigyasa. Now this human life is meant for inquiring about the Absolute Truth. In cats and dogs' lives we cannot. By evolution process, when you come to human form of life, there is chance of understanding Krishna. Therefore, when we get this human form of life, if we do not understand Krishna, then you are committing suicide, ātmahā, cutting one's throat, himself. So we should not be atmaha. 
लब्धा सुदुर्लभ इदम बहुसंभवान मानसम अर्थदम दिस ह्यूमन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ इज पर्पजफुल डोंट टू एस्ट दैट इज द इंजंक्शन ऑफ द शास्त्र देयर फॉर देयर आर सो मेनी वेदिक लिटरेचर्स जस्ट टू अवेक दिस ह्यूमैनिटी और ह्यूमैन सोसाइटी to the point of krishna consciousness uh, so that he may be relieved from this business of janma mrityu jara vyadhi dukha dosha anudarsana this is required uh, so this is brahmaarpan ah uh, brahmaarpan on krishna is brahma para brahma para brahma param dhama pavitram paramam bhavan arjuna is accept who directly heard from krishna or bhagavad gita and he is uh, experience our krishna he expressed in find in the 10th chapter para brahma para para brahma param dhama pavitram paramam bhava my dear krishna you are the para brahma uh, everything is brahma but he is para brahma That is the distinction. Sadbam khali dham Brahma. This all right, but where from this Brahma is emanating? That part of Brahma. Janma dasya jata. Brahma is also emanating. Brahma na ham pratistha. Everything Brahma is situated on part of Brahma. Therefore, he is described as param dhamo. Dhamma means the platform. Uh, just like we stand on the uh, on the surface of the globe, uh, so similarly there must be some standing. Just like the light is coming, where well, from the light is coming? The standing is the lamp. Uh, if the lamp is broken, there is no more light. Similarly. The Brahma Jyoti, where from it is coming? Where is the source? The Brahma Jyoti, the impersonal Brahma Jyoti, is not ultimate. Brahma Ti, Paramatma Ti, Bhagavan Ti, Sabdate, Badanti Tatpatta Vidastatyam, Jat Gyanam Adyam, Brahma Ti, Paramatma Ti, Bhagavan Ti, Sabdate. Ah. the absolute truth is one either you say brahma or paramatma or bhagavan but still there is a great sub realization a brahma realization is impersonal realization paramatma realization is localized and bhagavan realization is the perfect ultimate realization ब्रह्मेति परमात्मेति भगवान द सेम एग्जाम जस्ट लाइक यू आर इन द सन साइन दैट इज ऑल्सो लाइट द डार्कनेस इट इज नॉट डार्कनेस सिमिलरली दोज वाइज रियलाइज इम्पर्सनल ब्रह्म दैट इज ऑल्सो लाइट दोज वाइव रियलाइज लोकलाइज परमात्मा ईश्वर सर्वभूताना द जोगीज द जोगीज रियलाइज परमात्मा ध्यानावस्थित तदगते न मनसा पश्यंति जम जोगिन जोगी बिजनेस इज इन मेडिटेशन टू सी कृष्णा विद इन द हार्ट एंड द ज्ञान इज द रियलाइज इम्पर्सनल फीचर ब्रह्म ज्योति बट द भक्त दे डायरेक्टली कम टू द ओरिजिनल सोर्स ऑफ ब्रह्म एंड परमा भगवान ईश्वर सर्वभूताना रिद्देश अर्जुन तिष्ठते ईश्वर हैज एक्सपैंडेड इन एवरी वन हार्ट एंड हु इज दैट ईश्वर ईश्वर परम कृष्ण ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद विग्रह अनादिरादि गोविंद सर्वकार मकार सो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण एंड कृष्ण एनर्जी then we can realize the vedic slogan sarvam khalidam brahma 
But without understanding Krishna, it is not possible. Uh, without understanding Krishna, there will fall down. Therefore we see so many impersonalists. They cannot give up their attachment for this material world. That is not possible. That is described in the Simad Bhagavad. Jannir Vindakha Vimukta Manina Tayyasta Bhavad Abhishuddha Buddhaya. Anyone who has neglected your personality or Vindakha, oh, the lotus eyed Krishna, Aravinda, J. Anne, He Aravindakha, Tayyasta Bhavad, they cannot understand what you are. Their intelligence is still contaminated, not purified, abhishuddha. Then what is the result? The result is arujya kichena parang padang tata. After severe austerities, finances, they may come to the impersonal understanding of your Brahma Jyoti. But patanti adha again comes to the material world. Therefore, the impersonalist, without understanding of Krishna, even very much advanced, they do not get any occupation. They come down again to the material platform to open hospital, school, college. Why? Because the impersonalist says that this material world is false. If the material world is false, why you come down again to the false platform to open schools and hospitals? That means arujya kichena parang padang patanti adha anadita jusmadhanga. Just like if you go very high with your aeroplane, just like they are trying to go to the moon planet, because they are not getting any shelter, they are coming back again. And if you are going to the moon planet, why you are, do not stay there? But they cannot stay. Similarly, the so-called Brahma realization or Brahma, actual Brahma realization, that will not help. You must stay some here. That is the lotus feet of Krishna. Samasita jat padapallavam plavam. Uh, we have to take shelter. That is Krishna saying, paramam guyam. You take shelter of my lotus feet. Sarvadharman paritajya mamekam saranam bhaja. That is Krishna's advice. Ah. Not Sarvadharma means there are so many systems of religion. Ah. But there any system of religion, if it does not lead you to the ah, platform of devotional service to the Supreme Personality of God, and that is defective. Therefore, Bhagavad says, Sabai Bhangsana Paro Dharma Jato Bhakti Radhukhaji. That is first class system of religion. What is that? Which teaches one how to become unalloyed, unflinching devotee of the Supreme Personality of God. That is first class. All others, they are defective. Sometimes they are described as cheating. Yet in the beginning of the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said, dharma projita koitava atra. Koitava means cheating. So anything uh, going in the name of religion, but it is cheating, that is rejected here. Dharma projita. Projita means prakishta rupena ujjita. Just like a sweep with a broomstick, you clean all the dust, throw away. Similarly, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, in the beginning it is said that cheating type of religious system is some completely swept away. Dharma projita koitavatra parama ninma sarana. Then for whom it is meant? For parama ninma sarana. Those who have achieved the stage of uh, nirmasarata without any jealousy. Because the material disease, disease is jealousy. 
I am jealous of you, you are jealous of me. This is the business here. Here, however I may be very great personality, but in the material affair there are many instances. They become very, very jealous. Ah, that, that is material disease. Material disease means we are all jealous. Therefore, this Bhagavad Dharma, Krishna consciousness movement, is meant for Parama Nirma Sarana, who is not jealous. For him it is meant for. Parama Nirma Sarana. Mastra to be the Matra. These are described there. And actually, our jealousy begins from Krishna. Uh, Krishna is asking, Sarvadhanman paritajya mami kang saranang bhaja. But I am jealous. Why shall I surrender to Krishna? Why? Oh, he is also as good as I am. Maybe a little learned. Abhajananti manga mudha manasim tanuva. Because he is asking, demanding your surrender. And I am thinking he is an ordinary man. So I am losing the chance. Abhajananti manga mudha. So our jealousy business has begun from Krishna. Oh, why shall I accept Krishna as the Supreme Personality? Although in the Shastras, Krishna says personally, matta paradaram nanat kinchi jasti dhananjaya. There is no more superior truth than me. But you don't believe it. Although you read Bhagavad Gita, but you don't accept Krishna's version. This is our disease, because jealous. Jealousy. Why shall I accept Krishna as the Supreme? This is jealous. Therefore, so long we are jealous, we cannot understand Krishna. Paramanin Masarana, Satang. And who is not jealous? Satang. Satang. Those who are devotees. Satang Prasangat Mama Bhavidya Sangvida. Bhavantiritkarna Rasayana Katha. Tajyosanat asu apavarga vatmani sadhya bhakti rati ranukramis. So you have to discuss about Krishna amongst the Krishna's devotees, not outsiders. Outsiders, they cannot understand Krishna. They simply waste their time by commenting among Bhagavad Gita. Because they are murhas, they cannot understand Krishna. Ah. Krishna says to Arjun, I shall explain Bhagavad Gita because you are my bhakto. Bhakto si, priyo si. So who can understand Bhagavad Gita unless he is a bhakto of Krishna? And therefore Krishna selected Arjun. Arjun was not a Vedantist. He was a householder, khatriya, fighter, soldier. A soldier is not expected to be Vedantist. Uh, neither very much well-versed in all the Vedic literature. That is not the business of Khatriya. That is the business of the Brahmana. Brahmana is Pandita. But Khatriya is not supposed to become a Pandita. But he still Krishna selected him. Krishna, Arjun, I shall speak to you. The same old story which I spoke to Imang vivasyati yugam pratvāna hamabhyam. That is now lost. Therefore I shall revive it again. And I shall speak to you because you are my bhakta, you are my friend. So this is the qualification of understanding of Bhagavad Gita. First of all to become a devotee of Krishna. Otherwise it is licking the bottle of honey. Ah, here is honey. Oh, it is honey. And if you go on licking at the bottle, what taste you will get? It must be open. Then inside, rasam dhetad uttamam. And who can open? The devotee can open. Otherwise, lika, go on book, licking the bottle for many thousands of years. He will never taste what is within. So, those who are actually advanced 
in Krishna consciousness, they can understand that everything is Krishna. That is really Brahma realization. Uh, Jasmini vigyate sarvamedam vigyatam bhamanti. This is the Upanishad. If you simply understand Krishna, then you understand what is Paramatma, what is Brahma, what is material, cosmic manifestation, everything you understand. And when you understand Krishna properly, then you see that everything is Krishna because everything is Krishna's energy. Uh, just like heat and light, I have already explained. Uh, that is Sarvam Khaludam Brahma. That understanding. But that does not mean in the Supreme Brahma Krishna is lost. No. Krishna, in spite of expanding in so many ways as Paramatma, as Brahma, as cosmic manifestation, material energy, everything, still Krishna is there, person. Uh, so uh, there are so many ways uh, explained in the Bhagavad-gītā to understand Krishna. And if we get this opportunity to understand Krishna, if we cannot understand Krishna by reading Bhagavad-gītā and Shastra, Krishna therefore giving us the very easiest method. All right. You cannot understand me. You, you are drinking water every day, four times, three times. You just remember this taste is Krishna. That's all. Smaranam. Samanam kīrtanam Vishnu smaranam. Because you will remember Krishna, your life will be successful. Simply by drinking water. It is so easy. You don't require to undergo very severe austerities and patience. Simply try to follow one instruction of Krishna. That's why drinking water, uh, the taste is Krishna. Begin this life and your life will be successful.